Good morning, uh, this is Thomas Schultehan, I'm from Infoware and today we're going to tell you a little bit about MySpin and how it connects the smartphone to the car. Uh, MySpin is only available currently in Land Rover and Jaguar cars. So we have this beautiful little car here, our test device, and uh, we're going to take you inside to show you how it works. Okay, the idea of MySpin is to connect um, smartphone apps to the car, um, basically meaning that once I have connected my smartphone, I can use the app on this screen and uh, use the car's speakers to hear audio input and also use some of the sensors. Um, what we need in order to do that is, first of all, you need um, a MySpin uh, launcher application, which is usually being provided by the OEM, uh, in, this in this case Land Rover and you need a USB cable. So to connect the car with the smartphone, we need to plug this in here. In this car, it's, it's here. It's not wireless yet. We hope that's coming up. And you need to plug it into your smartphone. So once we start the engine, what you see here is that the smartphone display goes blank and once the car has started up completely you can then tap here uh, in control apps and another tap and there you go this is the launcher app so we can put this away and then we have a number of different functionalities that uh, come with um, Bosch's MySpin technology like contacts calendar music um, and then it shows you uh, all the apps that are available on your smartphone that are MySpin enabled. So here is our uh, navigation software, MapTrip. I can start it here. And there you go. You have the MapTrip map and interface on the car. And you can use it as always enter addresses and go through all the menus so everything is basically there so let's see how this works in driving this is the launcher app that is required to use MySpin applications and this is basically a list of all the applications that are available for this uh, MySpin platform and this is being used to connect the smartphone to the car and here is our map, map trip application Okay, so what we're seeing here now is that um, the application is ac actually running on the phone, but it's being displayed here. So basically, we can put this away. We don't need this anymore. That's what we want. We don't want to fiddle with the, uh, with the smartphone while we're in the car. We want to use it here. First of all, it's very nice to see our own application here in the vehicle. It makes me very proud. Um, feels good. And uh, we can use it quite comfortably like we would on a uh, on the smartphone itself um, but we also have the audio um, output um, we've already entered an address the interface looks uh, slightly different than it does on the smartphone um, but we'll just take you on a test, test drive show you how it goes am ende der straße links abbiegen max lödner straße so this is actually the um, audio output that the phone generates. It's not being generated by the car's text-to-speech engine or anything like that. Jetzt links abbiegen. This is really just a display. So what I like about this is it looks very nice. It looks, it still looks like my application or our application that we built. It's still the Infoware metric navigation. So I think the data that the OEMs make available to the app developers is very important because we need to have um, access to that data in order to create applications that provide new and interesting functionality that you cannot create if you're not connected to the car. Otherwise, the application would always just be exactly the same, it's just displayed here. 